how to make an infinite logo slider in Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to add or make an infinite logo slider into your Wix website or not the simple Wix, but the Wix Studio one. So the process is very easy. You are going to head over to Wix.com, sign in for an account within uh, the uh, Wix platform, and then you are going to see the slides dashboard. And if you are not familiar with using Wix Studio, you're going to create a new site here, click on here. And also you are going to select try Wix Studio like that, select the template and you're going to get your uh, own website from Wix Studio. Now I'm going to search for the website that has a built on Wix Studio label on it. As you can see here, we have one and the other ones or the standard ones are not going to have that label. I'm going to select here and click on edit. Then we are going to see the Wix dashboard or the Wix Studio dashboard. Now, as you can see, and I know that you have understood that this is the uh, principal dashboard or this is the control panel of it. So we are going to click on edit site and we are going to have our website ready. Our website is preloaded as you can see because it will take a little bit of time to load up the content since it is a heavy website. So as you can see here we have everything. We have the multiple sections or different component of our website. So what I am going to do here is to add a specific or a empty section. And that section is going to be here uh, an empty one. So I'm going to click on add section. I'm going to let it as it is. We can do the traditional method of having here multiple image layers or images right there and duplicate them. And then we are going to animate them. But I will not do it because I think that it is not going to be that professional, but it is uh, doable anyway. I'm going to delete that here. I'm going to use a third party website, which is going to help us create that widget, which is going to be called elf site. So basically elf site is going to be a website that will help you to create different widgets and different sections or minimized sections that you can control only with random commands or uh, normal commands. And then you are going to get a code at the ending and then you are going to embed it right there. So what are the options that we have on Elf site? As, uh, obviously we are going to hover the mouse above widgets. We are going to see all the categories for the widgets. We have the social reviews, chats, tools, and etc. So what I am going to do is to head over the tools and then we are going to see logo slider or logo showcase. So I'm going to select logo showcase and then we are going to create one for free. As you can see, this is the sample. Also, this is what we want to add. I'm going to click on create here. I have already a, a widget created. I'm going to let you see it. So I'm going to click on edit. And normally we are going to see all the logos in here. Here I have made it the slider for only one image. You can add multiple images and here you have it. For example, I'm going to add this image just like that. We are going to wait for the upload of it, but instead I'm going to cancel the upload. I'm going to let you see here the content. So basically this is the place where we are going to put the logos. Make sure that you are going to add logos without a background. As you can see here, we have some backgrounds and images. These are, or this image is not going to represent a logo, but only an object moving. So here we have the header that you can modify. As you can see, we have the title, which is our partners. You can add a uh, here, a caption and see it like a little description. And here we have the call to action button. So you can go ahead and show it. And it is going to be here. So you are going to name it, link it and put the text uh, above it and also choose the icon that you want to add, for example. Here, for example, you can go ahead and add different icons. So back to the layout, 
I'm going to click on layout here. As you can see, we are going to see that we have a ticker. You can have a carousel with multiple images. We can have a grid, but the two uh, of those, um, let's say, uh, layouts that I have represented for the carousel on the grid are not going to be sliding. But here for the ticker, it is going to be a showcaser. So you can have here at the uh, transition speed for the ticker. So you can make it, for example, fast, slow, and you can also pause it on the hover, for example, like that. Pause it just like this. This is something awesome. So I'm going to put it as medium. Now back to the logo size, you can go ahead and increase or decrease the logo sizes like for example here we have 297 we are going to put it as 100 we are going to see the difference this is much smaller and i think this is the right side for the logos as you can see you can here uh, increase it by getting this uh, slider as you can see also you can um increase or decrease the spacing so just like that, this is better. Also for the mobile behavior, you can go ahead and adjust the logo size for tablets and for mobiles also with spacing for the two devices. Now you can put some random orders for the images. So you can uh, here put the slide in to the left or to the right. And also the logos are going to be here randomized uh, whenever you are going to uh, actualize or refresh the page now finally for the styles are uh, we have the font you can go ahead and change the font that are going to be uh, appearing for the button and also the header and etc so we can change the background as you can see color we can uh, set up the horizontal padding and also the vertical we have the logo style we have the header style we have also the button style and we can add some custom CSS or custom coding in here to adjust something that we do not have in case. When you have uh, finalized the uh, design of that specific uh, logo, uh, let's say your slider, we are going to click on publish. And then we are going to see it just like that. And how we can do now to integrate it, we are going to click on install. Now, as you can see, these are going to be the platforms that um, will be uh, compatible to, for example, Shopify, Squarespace, we have uh, Wix and etc. What we're going to do is to select embed code from here. We have the share link. We have the request installation and also right there. So you can use the share link for, um, let's say here, platforms that will not read embed codes or only need a, a shareable link that is going to be a smart link like Canva. But in our case, we are going to click on embed code. I'm going to click on copy. We're going to head over here, click on add elements. And then we're going to embed it. So we are going to search for embed and social on Wix Studio. Then we are going to select embed code. I'm going to click on it or drag and drop it in here. So I'm going to put it as full. I'm going to hide that inspector. I'm going to make it full, just like that. Make it uh, here longer or just like that. And then we are going to click on enter code. We're not going to put it as website address, but a code instead. So I'm going to delete that code. Paste the code that we have. Click on update. Boom. We're going to see the logo slider. We're going to see just like that. So we are going to uh, control the size of it just like this. So basically this is the logo slider. And if we want to modify something, we need to head over elf site and in here. The advantage of elf site that you will get when uh, you are going to uh, sign in for uh, an account or a free account is a go in to be here uh, getting only one app for everything. So you are going basically here to add or here multiple widgets, only uh, one widget for the type of it. 
so basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one